Hey guys, um, sorry I look a little rough. I haven't really done much since I've woken up. Um, well, at least with my hair. Um, just wanted to let y'all know what's going on this week with the kids. Um, Lily's got a diaper rash that we believe has to do with allergies. She also has to get some blood work done and she has a dentist appointment all in one week. Last week, I think I said I made a video and I mentioned a few times the hour long, hours long PTSD episodes that I get just sitting there trying to decide between do I take her to the doctor for an allergy or do I do I go to the dentist appointment because I have to choose. I have to choose because CPS thinks it's appropriate for Justin and I to alternate doctor's appointments. Doctor's appointments that Justin never wanted to go to before and never even wanted to go to before just the last month when I think Beth told him, hey, you gotta start trying to go to everything Kate does so one, we can take them away from her and two, so you can look like a good fucking parent like you haven't been in the past. Um, this is not okay. And I don't see why there's any reason why Justin and I shouldn't be able to both go to whatever appointment that either of us wants to go to because he's a parent, I'm a parent, and hell, if one parent shouldn't be there, it should be him. I should not be kept away because it's Justin's visit. I took those babies to every single doctor's appointment, dentist appointment, anything appointment for their entire lives, including every single prenatal appointment. I can show proof of perfect attendance. So why now should I have to start missing them? I've already missed, apparently, Lily had her first dentist visit in December and I didn't even know. So I thought this next one was a big deal and it's not, but it's still a big deal because it's an appointment, but I got to find out from Beth <laughs> that she, I, um, Lily already had her first dentist appointment and not only was I not there, I didn't even know about it. I found out six months later that my, but whatever. So the blood work I want to be at because they do blood work on a little baby just like they do on an adult, it's very not fun. It's worse than the shots for them. And I wanna be there for her for that. And the allergist, how can you not have one of the caregivers at the allergist? She's having to go to an actual like allergist, which I've never had to do for Grayson before. How can one of us, me or Beth, not be at that appointment when you have the current caregiver and the very soon to be caregiver? We both need to be there and hear what the doctor has to say. And I'm the one that kids are supposed to be coming back to. So if they're going to say only one of us can be there, I would think I would be the parent that should be there. But again, I don't want to keep Justin from these appointments. It's CPS that for some reason want to say mom has to start missing appointments now. Like, do you understand what's happened? They're saying they won't allow me and Justin to be together for some reason, even with supervisors around, even for meetings, even for doctor's appointments for the kids. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, they won't let us around each other for some reason, which, oh, what do you know? Create situations where Kate can't go to soccer games and Kate can't go to certain medical appointments or Kate has to go through very traumatic decisions that last entire afternoons where she's just sobbing, trying to figure out which appointment of her daughter's to miss. Or... Oh God, I really want to take her to get her blood drawn, but oh shoot, I don't want to miss this dentist appointment since I've never been to one for her because she's been gone the last eight months. I don't think I should have to do that. And uh, I've got a protection order. I didn't ask for it. I got a stay away order though. So you know how those work? This is how they work. If Justin is somewhere and I show up, he's got to go. If I'm somewhere and Justin shows up, oh, he's gotta go. I shouldn't have let what happened two weeks ago happen. It shouldn't have happened. It surprised me. I had no warning that was gonna happen, which I think was on purpose. I shouldn't have left that room. A protection order is meant to protect a victim. It is not meant to protect their abuser. And Rentner can try to lean on his bullshit order of I cannot interfere, but he didn't say anything about doctor's appointments in that order. And honestly, the order should be thrown out because first and foremost, 
The protection order protects the victim. The victim is going to be at her daughter's doctor's appointments. CPS needs to figure out if they're going to now put in a motion to allow Justin to be there at the same time because again, if he wants to be there, he, sh he should be there. But I'm not doing this bullshit of switching appointments. And if they're gonna start, and if they're going to try and not give me information about my daughter's doctor's appointments, well then, we've got some motions to file. Hmm. That's my week. Lots of open mic stuff. Um, probably won't be going out tonight. I got a date, but um, probably the rest of the week. But I'm hoping to see my son. I'm gonna. I asked if I could visit them today at school since I can no longer do the weekend visits thanks to all the trauma Beth has caused. Um, and so hopefully we're doing that. I haven't seen my children in over two weeks. Happy Monday.